What's up guys, my name is Element and it is once again time to say goodbye to the Call of Duty that we have been playing for the last year. And today I say goodbye to Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and that doesn't mean I'll never go back to playing it because it was a really good game so I'm pretty sure that some point in the next year I will go back and play this multiplayer again. And uh, it was a pretty fun year for Black Ops 2, I enjoyed the game, I thought it was a very good game. It was much, much better than Modern Warfare 3. If it wasn't for all the BS lag and hit detection and all those issues that we had this year, then it probably would have been one of my uh, more favorite Call of Duties. But it still hasn't beat out the old Call of Duty 4. It still hasn't beat out Modern Warfare 2. And uh, it, it was a fun year, um, especially after I got out of that clan nonsense. Um, you know, just playing with friends and just playing solo and having fun and not giving a shit, just playing chill. That's what makes Call of Duty fun for me and not taking it seriously. I'm not really a competitive gamer. I would just much rather play to relax, have some fun, joke around with friends. And that's kind of why I hold Modern Warfare 2 and the old original Black Ops as my two favorite Call of Duties. Because just the memories that you have playing with friends, staying up late, you know, just BSing while you're playing the game, checking out everything as you rank up and compare weapons and all that stuff. You know, just good old general BS between friends. And this gameplay right here... Uh, a little TDM with a Diamond M1216 that kind of encompasses that thought. You know, just running around playing TDM, using a scrubby gun, not giving zero fucks. It, it's just, it would, I would rather it be chill. And uh, that it wasn't really too chill for Black Ops 2 for me this year, in my experience. You know, because for the first half of Black Ops 2's life cycle, I was in a clan led by a guy that took shit way too seriously. And since I have, you know, excommunicated myself from that, I'm no longer a part of that. And it feels so much better to play with just friends and not take it seriously. And playing solo has been fun. You know, even though matchmaking I still complain about to this day is a real problem for solo players. But that's just something that's out of my control. And it's kind of the same thing with lag and hit detection. So lag, hit detection, and matchmaking are just things that are out of my control, and I shouldn't get mad at them, but I do anyway, but I know better. And uh, really, the kind of point I want to make is that, you know, life is too short to get mad about a video game, especially one where the things that uh, make you pissed off are just completely out of your control. There's nothing you can do about it. You just kind of got to grind away and deal with it. And I know it's gotten to the point where we're this far in the Call of Duty franchise that we should expect you know, these things to have been improved upon. And maybe we will, maybe Call of Duty Ghosts will be that answer. Uh, but the problem really with the franchise now is that, you know, every new game gets measured against its predecessors and that unfortunately is its own undoing. So, you know, you gotta take everything for a grain of salt that other people say about the game. I know a lot of people got it early and they're all like, blah, blah, this sucks, blah, blah, I can't believe that. So, you know, just don't take it too seriously, play chill, just, you know, hang out with your friends, do a little BS in, and it'll be a fun time. And I, I kind of hope that's what Call of Duty Ghost is going to be for me this year. Uh, I would rather go back to the ways that we played on the original Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2. Just chilling, not giving a fuck. You know, playing around, messing around. Who cares about winning, losing, stats, whatever. Just having a good old time, and that's what I want it to be. And uh, Black Ops 2 really wasn't that experience, but it was still overall a very, very good game. I Enjoyed the fact that Treyarch supported it a lot post-launch. We got some decent DLC out of it. Uh, very good game overall. This is probably one of my more favorite Call of Duties after MW2 and the original Black Ops. It might be like my top three, <laughs> if you will. But overall, generally a very very good game. Uh, the only downfalls were the hit detection, the lag, uh, the matchmaking. And I didn't really care for the maps this year. There wasn't really too many memorable multiplayer maps in this game. There was a few that I liked, like Grind from DLC. And uh, I think Standoff made my top 10 list as an honorable mention. But, you know, that's only two. There should have been way, way more. And, you know, there was a lot of maps that I would rather just skip. And the whole thing was really ruined by Nuketown and Hijack being the rotation constantly over and over again. So, But I enjoyed some of the weapons. I had a lot of crappy guns to use this year. And I really enjoy crappy guns, kind of like this Diamond M1216, you know, semi-auto shotties for the win. And uh, I'm looking forward to using whatever crap gun comes at me in Call of Duty Ghosts. And I, I know there's a semi-auto shoddy, well, sort of, in Ghosts, so I look forward to using that. But Black Ops 2, pretty good year. Uh, I enjoyed the game, like I said. And uh, I'll definitely come back to this one. So it's uh, it's been a good game. I just finished the multiplayer campaign. Uh, I do that every year where I play the campaign right before the new one comes out, and it wasn't that memorable, it wasn't really that great, but I've never really played a campaign from COD that was awesome, so it's multiplayer for me, and uh, that's about it. So, goodbye Black Ops 2, hello Call of Duty Ghosts, and let's have a fun year. Peace out.